Yo, what is up guys? Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make songs like Phoebe Bridges. Now, who is Phoebe Bridges? Phoebe Bridges is a 29-year-old LA-born singer and songwriter. She's best known for her deeply intimate, lush, indie folk style. And in today's video, I'm going to try to teach you a few ways in which you can get that sound. Now, let's get into it. For this start, I do want to mention I am a bit sick, so that's why my voice sounds a bit funny. Now, as you can see by looking at the layout of this production, there's a lot going on. And this is actually one of the most important things to sound like Phoebe Bridges, is you've got to have a lot of different layers in your production. Now, mainly I did this for the guitars, but there's a few other little layers and little nuggets in there as well. But let's start out with the guitar tracks. Now, I have all of these tracks panned differently to give a real big soundscape effect, uh, which I think really fits the Phoebe Bridges style. So we start out the track with this guitar. And for all the guitars, I tune down to C sharp standard because Phoebe Bridges likes to use baritone guitars. And C sharp standard, it's not quite the same as the baritone register, uh, which is B standard, but it still has enough of that darkness and bite to it, I think. So it still really sounds good, in my opinion. And of course, you don't need to go buy a baritone, which is why I did it with C sharp standard. You can do this with anything you have. Uh, but to get that sound, uh, on all these guitars, I'm using Amplitude 5 with an overdrive pedal going into a Fender Princeton with the reverb turned up to 3. Uh, but on this particular track, I also have a send track, which acts as another layer. Uh, with this auto filter, which has this sort of whooshing sound to it, which I really like. And I felt really fit the track, as well as some digital reverb and some EQ. Then going into some sections, I have this harmonic part. Uh, then I also have this part. Then I have this part. Then I have this little harmonic melody. And uh, then I have this in the first chorus section. And in the final section, I have this little lead line. And that is it for the guitar parts. Uh, let's listen to just this intro section all together with all the parts in the intro section. And 
as you can hear, it just sounds so full and so big, which is really nice for that Phoebe Bridges sound. Uh, then, uh, during the chorus section, I also have this little melody. It's kind of strange. I recorded it with my acoustic guitar uh, and then put a bunch of effects on it. Uh, here's how it sounds. Now, this is kind of buried in the mix, but it's just a nice little detail, which is really part of her production style and her sound. Uh, but on that, uh, I have just my normal acoustic mixing setup. I have this Analog Obsession Brit Pre. I have UAD uh, LA2A, which was free for a while. I'm not sure it still is. Uh, if it is, go check it out. Uh, then I have this EQ. Just my normal acoustic. I throw it on every acoustic thing I do. Uh, I do have a mixing preset pack. Uh, which you can go check out for stuff like that. Uh, but to get that sound, I used Audiority's Distortion 1 plugin, which models the Boss DS1. Uh, just a compressor, some EQ to get rid of some frequencies I didn't like, a phaser, and some reverb. Because you've got to put reverb on everything to make it sound good. Next, in the bridge section of the song, I have these two Mellotron layers. Uh, it's both the same line, but these two sounds really complement each other. So I'm going to play them uh, apart really quick. This sounds like a washed out organ sound. Uh, yeah, and for the Mellotron, I'm using uh, Mellotron V by Arturia, of course. It's the best Mellotron plugin there is, in my opinion. Uh, then I have this bell sound almost. And that preset is just called vibes so together they sound like this it almost sounds like the organ is the tail of the reverb and it just really complements each other really nicely and it really adds a nice little layer into the rest of our track so the next thing we've got is the bass and you know just keeps the rhythm going it does its job and on that we've got little radiator you guys know how much i love this plugin and bass and drums uh just crank that up and I have some compression. And finally, we have the drums. And, of course, a little radiator. A compressor, some EQ, and some reverb. And for this, I'm using a drum loop from my Indie Drums drum kit, which you can find on my online shop. Link is in the description. Here's how it sounds. Right guys, now with all those parts together, let's give it a listen.
you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing. If you want to help out the channel directly, please check out my online shop and purchase something. And without further ado, guys.